Hey guys, Pat1979 here. Going to bring to you guys today a first look on my first prototype for a custom DIY uh, motor mount for my kayak, so the Pelican Catch Mode 110. But before that, I want to show you guys a little something cool that I just received. So uh, thank you to Ryan, he knows who he is. So just want to show you guys a little something cool. This is a preview and this is going to be in future videos. So. Uh, sorry for the noise guys, uh, there's a couple of renovations, uh, there's the uh, highway, there's some wind, so if you guys hear some noise, I'm really sorry about that. But uh, here you go guys, tell me what this is guys, and look at this, alright, this is like super simple, this is really intuitive, this is super fun, look, click, click, just flip it around, click, click, you just flip those little tab there, click, and click. What is that? This is a kayak cart, guys. A transformer kayak cart. This thing is freaking cool. I mean, you got everything that's removable. If you want to remove those little legs on the side, you can remove it. You can remove the wheels also, so you can take off the wheels. You can do all kinds of stuff, guys, with this cart. So. Uh, this is, for me, it's, it's the way it folds down, it's compact, it is really, really cool, guys. But, unfortunately, I gotta say, guys, this does not fit the uh, Catch Mode uh, 110 or any of the Pelican Catch series. Unfortunately, uh, this is something I, I wish it did, but it did not, so uh, when it folds down, it needs to be about here for the Pelican Catch, so... I don't know if you guys can tell my my hands, my fingers, but it needs to be about here. So the Pelican Catch is like, it's got a horrible designs for hull. So uh, it needs to be like one or two inch uh, over on each side. So I could modify this cart to be able to fit, but then I would lose the functionality of folding it down and being able to uh, fold down compactly. So, but if you guys want to see me modify it in the future, just say so, uh, make a modification for the catch. But after that, like I said, it might not be compatible with other kayaks in the future. But yeah, guys, so pretty cool little cart. Uh, you, you can adjust the knobs and then it's secure in place. You just put your kayak on there and just roll it down and just, it's got those little feet that just is gonna keep the stand just in a good position. So yeah, guys, this thing is amazing. And I'm gonna show you guys some video, like I said, of this being compatible with different model and different uh, kayaks in the future so stay tuned i'm also going to make a custom adapter for this to be able to put my uh my peck on catch mode and i already had the idea in my mind so you guys will see i get plenty of ideas when it comes to motor mount adapters and stuff so i'm going to make an adapter for this thing and it's going to be interesting to see if it's going to work like I want it to and if it's gonna be able to me use this cart for my pelican catch mode so but right now let's look at the motor mount that I did guys on the pelican catch mode all right all right guys and we're back and let me show you guys the custom motor mount that I have so imagine your seat is right here guys all right so imagine your seat is right here you have quick access to be able to bring down the motor and just raise it up if something happens. So let me show you guys what I did. And this is my first iteration. I am gonna work on a second one using the rear uh, motor mount uh, plate that's already on the catch. And like I said, this is just the first iteration. If you wanna go that route, you can go that route. There's no, uh, there's no worry about that. So I just put this together real quick just to see as a proof of concept went on the water and did a little test and this thing works pretty good. Uh, there's a few issues which I'll, which I'll talk about, So, but right now let's just see what I did. So basically I did a plate that I well loosely molded to uh, just uh, cut to fit. It's a little loose right now guys, as you can see, but once you put the battery on the other side, it doesn't matter. So as you guys can see, I have an eyelet, I have a bolt with a uh, wing nut, uh, install on there with a washer. I also have underneath a wing nut, uh, I mean the, the bolt and a washer and a rubber washer. So let me see if I can show you guys from underneath. So if you guys can see that, hopefully you will. I can't see really for the camera, so hopefully you guys will see that right there through the scupper hole. 
So yeah, guys, this is a scupper hole mounted uh, solution for the catch mode one, uh, 100. So uh, would I use this system? Well, I'm gonna try my second iteration, guys. I am just gonna try the second uh, way that I wanted to mount this with the rear uh, plate that I'm gonna take off. I am not gonna mount the motor here. It's still gonna be mounted on the side. Yeah, and I think I'm just gonna push back the motor uh, just a little bit further out here. So I'm just gonna put it a little bit more towards the rear, just in front of that eyelet, eyelet over here. And I'm just gonna bring it back just a little bit more, just a little tad more. So, uh, because one issue that I have with this system right now is it turns good on one side. Once the motor, let me show you guys that real quick. I'm just gonna put that there. So once the motor is um, in the water, it turns good when you're pushing from underneath. So when you're turning, uh, let's say right, and you're pushing from underneath, it is pushing the motor and it's turning the kayak right. But when you're going the other way, so when you're going left, it is pushing the entire kayak left side because I've got it too much close to the center of gravity where all the weight is. It's pushing the kayak sideways and it's not pushing it, uh, it's not turning it. So uh, that's one of the only issues uh, that I have with this system. So that's why if I were to redo it, I would probably move the plate on the back here and just put it and I would also mount uh, this uh, this two by three here and I would mount it flush so it would rest on the side here of the kayak and I would probably put a little brace here on the back that it would just uh, for lateral tra traction because right now it moves a little bit it's not much guys it's not much especially when the battery is on the back there the battery is supporting this entire system so it doesn't put any pressure on the scupper hole guys so and if you do your dimensions correctly it's not going to put any pressure on the scupper hole so this is one iteration like i said it's super simple it's stupid simple and you know it's one of the way but the only thing is i would need to uh, scrunch the motor backwards but my other system that i'm going to use the rear mount plate for the holes i need to go get some hardware so i need to go get some bolts some nuts and bolts and washers for this particular rear motor mount uh, and I'm gonna take off this one and this one doesn't have bolts guys. It doesn't have bolts uh, I know one video from Zofflinger he had bolts in there, but they just put some plastic like uh, Cap on there. I don't know if it's gonna be easy to take off or not But it's just some plastic thingy that I think you have to break off or something But anyways, I'm gonna have some bolts for that. So it's not gonna be an issue guys, but yeah guys uh, I am gonna try a second variation of my motor mount and just to make it different, you know, just to try a few different approach to see which one's the best for me and probably for you guys too. And the other, the other way that I'm going to mount this is going to be very interesting and very, very simple, guys. It's going to be like super simple and it's going to be like uh, pretty quick to do too. I'm maybe going to work on that tonight, although the sun is shining and it's hard and you guys can see I'm wearing like fishing gear attire because the sun is just, is just it's a very hot day today in Canada, so which is rare and I'm gonna enjoy it. But yeah guys, so hope you guys enjoyed this little video on the motor mount that I made for the catch mode. So if you wanna go that route guys, I would definitely go that route. But like I said, if you back off the wood plate and you put it towards the rear, uh, if you put it towards the rear here, you're gonna have a little bit more um, control on the kayak because the furthest rear you could put it ideally you want it on the back but there's too many issues to to have it on the back to, for raising and lowering the motor in the water so that's my only complaint guys uh, on this uh, on this mount so if they had a system which would be uh, imagine that road that rudder on the back all right so imagine that rudder uh, being the motor mount so if the motor mount is like that and they had a quick release system, which the entire plate here, you would just pull on a cord and then you could pull the motor and you, you could raise the entire motor uh, with the, uh, the motor mount on it and it just, you just raise the entire thing. That would be like money. And then you would just flip it back and would just clip into place and just spring load it. It would just clip back into place and that would be money. 
uh, but still you had the issue of steering it so steering you would have to put your feet on the side and just ha be sideways to be able to steer the kayak from the rear because otherwise it's, it would be a little a uh, little bit challenging to to be able to switch it up and just to uh, to steer it so this is why I, I want to put the motor on the side guys just to be able to steer the kayak a little bit better and to be able to retract it because trust me where I fish it is really shallow waters and having the uh, the possibilities and just the having the uh, the ability to retract the motor real quick and just to raise it up and the way I got it set up it just you just push it and you could al also just uh, take the tab here and just push the entire thing and just push it forward and just click like that it's out of the water line I could go a little bit further if I want to last level and it's out of water line so now you can see rocket back and forth but like I said when you put the battery in I got a, a size 24 battery which lasts me like plenty of time to go on the water besides I don't use it and I don't troll and I don't do a lot of mileage with it so I'm just on a river system and I cover maybe a two three miles radius uh, when I when I fish I just go back and forth on the river at certain spot but yeah guys this is the the first my first iteration works pretty good but I'm gonna work on the second on the second one and try to make the second one more simple and a lot better but this is already already stupid simple the only the only complex thing about this system is cutting uh, the entire piece of wood so if you're um, you know a carpenter and you're enable and you can get all the angles because there's so many angles uh, there's an angle coming that way diagonal there's an angle going this way which is uh, you know angling that way there's some angle here some angle going this way up there and it's just like it's it's a lot of work just to um, to make the plate but if you're wood enabled you get a router you get a table router you get all kinds of stuff to be able to cut it to dimension you get a CNC machine maybe and you could cut it to specific dimension just to put the wood plate in place that would be rock solid and that would be a good option like I said just moving the motor backwards uh, just moving it a little bit more here so that way even your rod holder won't be affected and you're still gonna have the ability to just uh, change the motor and just you know that is just priceless guys and and to have it on the side here uh, I did, having the motor on the side where the seat is, so the seat is uh, like right here guys, the seat is right here, so your motor is just right on the side, but even with the extension guys, if I, even if I scooch it back like a couple of inches, I'm still going to have enough room with the, just the classic motor, no nothing, no extension, and I'm still going to have room to reach back and to be able to grab it and just deploy it up if I need it to guys, so... Yeah, so guys, this is my iteration of the motor mount. Tell me what you think in the comments for the first generation. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, more on my little kayak cart uh, that I got in the future, guys. I'm going to show you guys compatibility, and I'm also going to show you what I come up with for an adapter for the catch uh, mode 110, guys. So, uh, yeah, but if you want something specifically for the catch series, I would recommend going with a different model. Link in the description for this one and link in the description also for another model that would be compatible with the uh, Catch Mode 110. All right, guys? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That's always appreciated. And catch you guys on the next one. All right, guys, a little bonus feature. I'm just going to show you guys how to remove my custom mount that I made for the Pelican Catch Mode 110. So this is really easy. Just a wing nut. I have an eight millimeter, uh, no, three eighths bolts. Yeah, three eighths bolts, three eighths wing nuts, and just the appropriate washers that comes with it. Comes with it. So all you have to do is just push that out, remove that, and this thing is coming out. So I'm gonna show you guys the bolt if I can find it. So here's the bolt. So here's the bolt, guys. I have a washer and a rubber washer, so just to protect the uh, scupper plug on the bottom, so everything fits in there and it just doesn't damage anything. So, and then you just put the other washer on top of it. So you just put the other washer and the wing nut, and yeah, guys. So, uh, if you want the size of the bolt for this uh, thing, this is a 
3 8 bolts and this is 4 inches long so you need something 4 inches long it fits perfect guys so 3 8 and 4 inch but don't take my word for it just uh, take something that's 4, uh, four inch and don't take it too big so if you want to see the dimensions uh, this is this is pretty small guys so it's not that big so well I think this the size is 3 8 but you can go with different size it's all going to do the same job especially if you cut the uh, the other piece of wood just that uh, easily guys so just putting it back on is just that easy guys it's just you just put it in there and you just align it and you just place the wing nut back in there and it's just like one screw guys so really easy but like i said i'm working on a second version that i'm gonna use the rear included motor uh, motor mount holes for the uh the uh the Pelican Catch Mode 110, so I'm just going to be used, using it that, but modifying it to push it forward and on the side again, but only a little bit more uh, over here instead of here. So a couple of inches might do a big difference, guys, so a couple of inches, but as long as I get the motor accessible and I can uh, flip it up and uh, get it back down on the water, that's the only thing that I'm looking for. So. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.